Hi everyone, welcome to the Romans read through today. Um, just me and I'm gonna keep this brief because I've managed to hurt my throat somehow and it hurts to talk. So just to keep things going, I'm sorry I didn't do it on Friday, but that's because I hurt my throat and I was just sneezing, sneezing the entire day on Friday. Don't know why, it might've been hay fever, might've been a cold. Um, but when I sneeze like that, I hurt my throat. So I don't know, I should probably go see a doctor. But nevertheless, uh, Romans read through today. We are reading through the whole of Romans every day. And we are doing that to renew our minds, fix our eyes on Jesus, and put all of our COVID lockdown problems in perspective. Um, so today, just uh, very briefly, something that uh, really drew out for me is that Paul, as he gets to the end of his explanation um, of the gospel, uh, Romans 11, in Romans 12, starts to talk about how to respond to that gospel. And he does that by saying, um, in verse 1, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That is by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And so really the, the appropriate response to the gospel is to, is, is to worship, to offer yourself as a living sacrifice, as, as worship to God, that your whole life is lived for the glory of God, solely Deo Gloria. And uh, this is really the heart of the Christian life, that we're offering up our whole lives as a response to him and thanksgiving. And, uh, and so we're doing that uh, and should be doing that as Christians. But the more that we understand the gospel, the more we understand Romans 1 to 11, the more we're going to be able to understand what it means to offer ourselves as living sacrifices. So um, in view of God's mercies, in other words, understanding everything that, that God has done for us by his mercy, that's how we get to offer ourselves. And so the more we meditate and reflect on the gospel, the more willing uh, we are to offer ourselves as living sacrifices, just a natural response, but also the more understanding we are as to what that actually means. Because the other part of that is do not be conformed to this world and its ways of thinking, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. So the more we soak in the gospel, the more renewed our minds are, the more transformed our lives become. And the passage then goes on to list all the things that are good and acceptable and perfect to God. So if you read through uh, chapter 12 and going on, chapter 13, chapter 14, chapter 15, these are all the things that are acceptable to God as a living sacrifice to him. And so Paul does give us a steer there. But in every situation, the more we reflect on the gospel, the more worshipful our lives become. So let's aim to do that. And let's seek to to live as living sacrifices, as appropriate acts of worship in response to all he's done for us in Christ and the amazing grace and mercy that he's shown to us. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining in. I'll see you again tomorrow.